models are sharing stories of the abuse that they experienced at the hands of boyfriends, relatives, and strangers. Now, in the history of America's Next Top Model, only three girls have quit the competition outright. Uh, there was Cassandra from Cycle 5. Cassandra uh, quit because she didn't want to cut her hair. There was Ebony from Cycle 9 that just felt like the pressure was too much. And Kimberly from Cycle 10. Kimberly said it was because of high fashion, but there was another reason. But let's go back to that day on, on Top Model. I'm glad to see you smile today because the other day you look like this. A squished up snotty old snot nose rag. She looked bored to death. She looked like she didn't want to be here. Do you want to be here? To be completely honest, like the whole fashion thing, I'm not, it doesn't interest me at all. So why did you come here? Why did you come here? I learned how to like express in pictures, but like the whole like, you know, like designer thing, like I don't know about designers and it's just, you know. Let's go back to casting, because it just happened. And there were 20 girls standing there in that room when I was handing out your diplomas. And I had to leave six girls there crying. And here you are in this place saying that this is not something that you're passionate about. I'm just being honest. Like, I don't, you know, I don't believe in the whole, like, you know, I need to wear designer outfits and, like... But you don't need to wear designer outfits as a model. Well, I know that, but I'm just saying, like, that's why I wasn't, like, it just, I don't find it interesting. Do you want to just go home? Yeah. All right. Go home. Thank you. I was so shocked when you said that you wanted to go home, and I thought it was so because you don't like high fashion and that you don't want to wear like I know. fashionable was... clothes. You don't have to wear expensive fashionable <laughs> clothes as a model on your personal time, you don't. That's what I was saying, what are you doing? That, I thought yeah. you were out of your mind. But it wasn't about high fashion. That's why it sounded so crazy. Yeah. So tell everybody what it was really it about. It sounded so crazy because it wasn't true. Mm -hmm. And you know, now that I look back on it, I'm like, oh my God, that was so silly of me to do. But the real reason was um, three months before the show, um, my ex-boyfriend committed suicide. It was by far the hardest thing I have ever gone through. Mm. And at that point in my life, it was so sudden and I rushed into the whole top model thing, which I actually, I love fashion. <laughs> I loved being there, I loved meeting Tyra and I wanted it so bad, but I didn't feel good on the inside. Mm -hmm. I was a mess. And, and this, if you don't feel good on the inside, you can't be yes. okay on the outside. And in hindsight, I'm so happy that you left. Yeah. Because I don't want you to be feeling sick inside and going through something so traumatic and having to put a smile on your face and right. sell some earrings on right. the show. And these earrings are cute. And I'm like, that's not, that's yeah. not what the competition about. I guess when about. I was get going to audition, I'm like, I think this will be a great stepping stool to get away from everything and it will help me. But, mm -hmm. you know, I got there and I'm like, this is just overwhelming. It makes it I, worse. I can't do this right now because mm -hmm. all I have is the death on my mind. And uh, your ex-boyfriend was not the first person in your life to commit suicide. No. Um, when I was in seventh grade, my mom committed suicide. Oh. So it kind of even made it worse mm -hmm. because I started feeling like, oh my God, what am I doing to people? Why is everyone around me dying? And mm -hmm. I got into, into a pretty bad depression and a lot of anxiety. I was in and out of the hospital having panic attacks. Mm -hmm. It was hard. And so your mother was addicted to drugs and alcohol. Right. And I'm sure had some other issues too she did. to make her commit suicide. Yeah. So it was almost like you were attracted to somebody that was similar to your mother. Right. This boyfriend. Did he have bipolar disorder? He was. He was bipolar. He was bipolar. And you I know you said that his sickness made you sick. What does that mean? It did. Um he was bipolar, so he was always up and down, mm -hmm. which is hard to be around with someone like that. I mean, he would be the funnest person to be around. He loved life and all of a sudden he would crash. And being around someone like that is so hard because when he would crash, I would come right down with him. Mm -hmm. And he was addicting to drugs and I always thought, it's okay, I can save him, I can save him. And for the longest time, I stayed in the re relationship thinking I could make him better. Mm -hmm. And then he died and it really made me crash. And you said that now you're trying to move forward and reclaim your life. I am. Yeah, tell me how you're I doing that. I am trying, you know, I've been in therapy for a really long time, um, which definitely has helped getting mm -hmm. it out there and talking about it. 
because even on Top Model, I didn't want to come out and say I can't do this because I thought it would make me look really weak. Mm -hmm. And I know being a model, you have to be fierce and confident, and I just didn't want that image. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to tell all of you guys, it, is, it takes very strong women and brave women to audition for America's Next Top Model, to go through that critique, to face rejection, and to hear, you know, you're not good enough for this, you need to pose better for this, you need to do this to do that. But to me, what is more honorable, what is more noble, what is more beautiful is what the four of you guys have done today. That you have exposed yourselves, that you're vulnerable, that you so that you guys are victims of something, but that you're not carrying being a victim for the rest of your life and that you're empowering young girls that are going through the exact same things that you guys have gone through. And I applaud you as your godmama. Welcome. We'll be right back.